And so what is your business all about? Well, the warehouse is my engine room, which actually provides uh, you know, around about $30 million worth of dividends a year, tax paid dividends, which we invest either in the community through the Tyndall Foundation or uh, through a number of businesses that I've started, I will help start up. So we've invested in about 110 startup businesses in New Zealand across anything that's exportable or scalable. What advice would you give to New Zealanders, uh, New Zealand's next wave of entrepreneurs? Well, that's something that uh, we're doing every day, and the, the advice really is um, that you get one point out of ten for an idea, but you get nine points for, for actual execution. And so the, the main thing is to actually start to think about how you can execute. You've got to find capital, so um, usually that's what happens with us. They come and show us their business plan, and if we like it, we'll invest initially. But um, the key thing is to actually focus on delivering the plan. So why do you think uh, international should invest in New Zealand? Well, the one thing about New Zealand is we're recognised for great new ideas, you know, very innovative com country. Um, what we found with, in particular, one of, our sorry, one of our companies that's doing the very best is we're attracting a large number of scientists down here. Uh, they're getting paid a lot less than they have been either in Europe or the States, but they come for the lifestyle as well as working in a really fantastic project. Um, the other thing is that um, because it's such a small country, we're able to interface with science um, institutes, uh, with the government, and with a greater venture capital, offshore venture capital uh, group. So, you know, it, it's easier to do business here than it is in, in, in bigger countries. So I guess the, those are, you covered some of the assets, but, you know, is there any, um, how would you describe the asset, New Zealand's assets further? Well, I think um, fantastic infrastructure and engage politicians who tr truly want to make things happen and will react. Um, a wonderful place to live and work. Um, no corruption. Um, I think it's regarded as the second or third easiest place in the world to do business, so a lack of red tape. All those things, I think, are our business assets. Do you use web video as a communications tool in your business, and I guess some of the businesses you invest in, do they use them? Um, and, and what do you think of them? Well, what do you think of web video? Yeah, I think web video is fantastic. I think it's, the, it's here and now, but it's also very much the future. A lot of things uh, we've invested in use it. Um, for Kia New Zealand, which has 30,000 expats all around the world, we use a lot of web video to communicate to those people. And in fact, if you have a look on a website called Pass It On, which is all around the Rugby World Cup, which we've developed, it's all utilising web video.